Imagine gazing into the night sky, your eyes meeting the faint twinkle of a star. Now imagine that this star is almost as old as the universe itself. It's incredible to think that such ancient stars exist, holding secrets from the dawn of time. These celestial objects are more than just points of light. They are time capsules carrying within them the story of our universe's past. This is the captivating realm of stellar archaeology, a field that allows us to journey billions of years back in time. By studying ancient stars, we can unravel the mysteries of our cosmic origins. How did the first stars form? How did galaxies evolve? Stellar archaeology offers a way to answer these fundamental questions. These ancient stars are like puzzle pieces scattered across the vast cosmic canvas. By piecing together their stories, we can begin to understand the grand narrative of our universe's evolution. It is a journey of discovery, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and revealing the awe-inspiring beauty of the cosmos. To embark on this cosmic quest, astronomers rely on powerful tools. Telescopes, both on Earth and in space, serve as our eyes on the universe. They collect light from distant stars, allowing us to observe them in stunning detail. But simply seeing these stars is not enough. We need to decipher the light they emit to unlock the secrets held within their glow. This is where spectroscopy comes in. By splitting starlight into its component colors, like a prism creating a rainbow, astronomers can identify the chemical fingerprints of stars. Each element in the universe has a unique spectral signature, a specific pattern of colors it emits or absorbs. By analyzing the spectrum of a star, astronomers can determine its chemical composition, temperature, and even its motion. This information is crucial for understanding the nature of ancient stars and their place in the universe's timeline. Just as archaeologists uncover ancient civilizations, stellar archaeologists delve into our galaxy to find relics of the early universe. These relics are ancient stars, often in the outer regions of the Milky Way, known as the galactic halo. These stars are like fossils, preserving a record of their formation conditions. They formed after the Big Bang, when the universe was smaller and hotter. Studying them provides insights into the early universe. Ancient stars are metal poor, containing low abundances of heavier elements. Analyzing their metal content helps trace the history of star formation in the galaxy. Among the most intriguing targets for stellar archaeologists are the elusive Population 3 stars. These hypothetical stars are thought to be the very first generation of stars to form after the Big Bang. The Big Bang itself produced only the lightest elements, hydrogen and helium, along with trace amounts of lithium. Heavier elements, essential for the formation of planets and life as we know it, were forged later in the nuclear furnaces of stars. Population 3 stars, composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, would have been vastly different from the stars we observe today. They are predicted to have been incredibly massive and short-lived, ending their lives in spectacular supernova explosions. These supernovae would have seeded the surrounding interstellar medium with the first heavy elements, paving the way for the formation of subsequent generations of stars. While no confirmed Population 3 stars have been observed yet, their existence is strongly supported by theoretical models and the chemical signatures seen in some of the oldest known stars. The stars we see in the night sky today are not all created equal. They belong to different generations, each with its unique chemical makeup. This diversity reflects the ongoing process of star formation and the gradual enrichment of the universe with heavier elements. Ancient stars, often referred to as population two stars, formed when the universe was still young. They have a lower metallicity compared to younger stars. This means they contain fewer heavy elements reflecting the composition of the gas clouds from which they formed. Younger stars, like our sun, belong to population one. They formed from gas clouds that had been enriched by the supernova explosions of previous generations of stars. As a result, they have a higher metallicity, containing a greater abundance of heavy elements. This difference in composition has profound implications. The heavy elements found in younger stars are essential for the formation of planets and the building blocks of life. Without the stellar alchemy of earlier generations, our own solar system and our very existence would not be possible. The chemical abundances found in stars are not merely a matter of scientific curiosity. 
They serve as a crucial tool for understanding the history of the universe and the evolution of galaxies. By studying the abundances of different elements in stars, astronomers can piece together a timeline of events. For example, the ratio of iron to hydrogen in a star can be used to estimate its age, with older stars having lower iron abundances. Moreover, the distribution of elements in stars provides insights into the processes that occur within stars and during supernova explosions. By analyzing these stellar fingerprints, astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution and gain a deeper understanding of the cosmic cycle of star birth, life, and death. While we have learned much about the early universe from studying ancient stars, the very first stars remain shrouded in mystery. These elusive objects, known as Population 3 stars, hold the key to understanding the transition from a universe dominated by hydrogen and helium to one enriched with heavier elements. Current telescopes are not powerful enough to observe Population 3 stars directly. However, astronomers are hopeful that future telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, will have the sensitivity to detect these faint objects. Finding and studying Population 3 stars would be a major breakthrough in astronomy. It would allow us to directly observe the conditions present in the early universe and test our theories about the formation of the first stars and galaxies. Section 8. Reading the Cosmic Clock, Stellar Ages. Determining the age of a star is one of the most fundamental challenges in astronomy. Unlike humans, stars don't come with birth certificates. However, astronomers have developed ingenious methods to estimate stellar ages, relying on a combination of observations and theoretical models. One method involves studying star clusters. These are groups of stars that formed from the same molecular cloud and therefore have similar ages. By observing the properties of stars within a cluster, astronomers can infer the age of the entire group. Another method relies on the concept of stellar evolution. As stars age, they undergo predictable changes in their luminosity, temperature, and size. By comparing these properties to theoretical models, astronomers can estimate a star's age with remarkable accuracy. Accurately determining stellar ages is crucial for understanding the evolution of galaxies, the formation of the elements, and the overall timeline of the universe. Section 9. New Horizons in Stellar Archaeology The field of stellar archaeology is constantly evolving, driven by technological advancements and new discoveries. Space telescopes like Gaia are providing unprecedented measurements of stellar positions, distances and motions, revolutionizing our understanding of the Milky Way's history and structure. Ground-based telescopes are also pushing the boundaries, with adaptive optic systems compensating for the blurring effects of Earth's atmosphere, allowing astronomers to obtain sharper images of distant stars. Furthermore, the development of new instruments and analysis techniques is enabling astronomers to extract even more information from starlight. By analyzing the subtle variations in a star's light over time, for example, astronomers can detect the presence of orbiting planets and study the internal structure of stars. Section 10. Unveiling the Cosmic Dawn One of the most exciting frontiers in stellar archaeology is the search for the first stars and galaxies, marking the end of the cosmic dark ages. After the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. As the universe expanded and cooled, atoms formed and darkness fell. The first stars and galaxies, blazing with the light of a billion suns, pierced through this darkness, ushering in the cosmic dawn. This era, roughly a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, marked a pivotal transition in the history of the universe. Finding evidence of this epoch is a major goal for astronomers. Next generation telescopes designed to peer into the distant past hold the promise of uncovering the faint glow of these primordial objects, revealing the secrets of the universe's infancy. Section 11. Our place in the universe's grand story. Stellar archaeology is more than just a scientific endeavor. It connects us to the vastness of the cosmos and our place within it. By studying stars, we appreciate the processes that shaped our universe and led to our existence. We are reminded of the interconnectedness of all things. The atoms in our bodies were forged in stars and scattered in supernova explosions. We are, in a very real sense, children of the stars. 
stellar archaeology reveals the grand narrative of which we are all a part. We are left with a profound sense of wonder and a desire to learn more.